Hey guys, Dylan Waller here with Waller Canine. I got Kai working with me today, and we're going to just do a little bit of lead training. Um, I'm not going to do the training with treats, but I do have a few treats that I'm just going to give her here. Uh, the deal is, is if the leash pulls her, then it, she needs to come and follow the leash. Okay? If the leash pulls her this way, she needs to come around. If the leash pulls her this way, then she needs to come around. No biting the leash, please. Sit. If the leash pulls her down to the floor, down, good. If the leash pulls her up, then she needs to come. If the leash truly pulls up, then she needs to sit, back come, and guys sit, good. This is just all for, for pressure of the leash, okay? So she needs to be guided by the leash. You see some of that little puppy will come out from her once in a while if we frustrate her with the leash or she doesn't understand what's going on. When I walk, it should be nice and loose, but she knows to walk next to me uh, all the time, okay? If she walks out in front of me, I'll put a little bit of pressure on the leash, but she's fairly sensitive to the leash, so she does really well with it. I'll walk her towards you guys and then away. A little pressure here. It's very important when we get into a little bit of um, corrections with the leash that we're not just holding the leash here it's correction and then we come back to pressure off so pressure should always be off if we need to turn it on we will put slack in the lead if there's not already slack in the lead we will correct the dog and then there will be slack in the lead again and you see what she just did when she felt that she just sat down and that's what we like because when my dog sees that I'm not moving, if they're continuing to move and they feel pressure or get corrected, it's because they're not sitting down next to me waiting for me to move. And so, um, you see, she, she's a little um, relaxed or maybe she just realizes that there's no, no other moves to be made at this point in time because I'm not moving. Um, she's been on the leash for five or ten minutes now, but anywho, you see, she is guided by the leash. She doesn't try to combat the leash. Uh, there at first, I probably put her uh, under a little bit of frustration. So she, she tried to mouth the leash for one second, but I have had a problem with her. So um, I do all the training as far as the leash training um, with and without treats. So I do go through a lot of repetitions without treats, just pressure. So even if I have food here, lay down, yes, pressure off, then treat. I'll tell her to heal, little pressure, then she gets treat. I'll tell her to sit, little pressure, yes, and then she gets treat. So she's really good on the leash. We've had a, a store experience together already um, with the owner, and so uh, it's kind of really well. She got to meet some people and see some people and be out and about in public. Now, if you guys have any questions about leash walking or training your dog to be better on the leash, please let me know. We would love to help you guys out. Uh, it is a major pain point of everybody that we deal with uh, or every dog that we train. So uh, please let us know how we can help you and we will see you next time.